morning, everyone. Welcome, Chandra La Hot Yoga. This is gonna be a 60 minute fusion this morning. My name is Melissa, if you've never taken one of my classes. This is all levels. So I'm gonna give lots of options in every range of your yoga practice. So take it as you need to, you know? This is your practice, your 60 minutes. If you wanna be nice and slow and soft, I always welcome that. Or if you're feeling super good and you wanna take things up a notch and go a little bit further, I also welcome that as well. Um, you can create your own little space at home. I know it's a little chilly today, so maybe you can set up next to you, but if not, we will build some heat, all right? Um, we are working on some side body stretches today, a little bit of obliques as well with that side body, all right? So when we stretch it out, listen to your body, do what feels right. If you follow us on social media, you may have been seeing us posting about lots of little options to do with your props. So if you're at home and you do not have locks, you do not have a strap, that's more than okay. You can always make do with things you have around your house. So if you're not sure about that, go look at our social media for some ideas. And we will get started today in a comfortable seat. So whatever that means for you, you can cross the legs. I just reach down to the sit through the sit bones. You can come to a hero's pose if you enjoy that more. So just find where you feel comfortable. Making sure that you're settling down through your sit bones. You're reaching up through the crown of the head. Finding some nice length through the spine. Hands settle down to the leg. You can have the palms down for more grounding, or maybe they're facing up for more receiving. So find your place. Close your eyes, or maybe find a soft gaze down towards the ground. And I always like to use these first couple of breaths just to settle into the body and the mind. Just taking note of how you're feeling this morning. Seeing what it is that you need from your practice. Remembering to modify for you and your body. And then we'll take a few cleansing breaths. We use these to let go of everything from outside of our practice, trying to make ourselves more aware and more present. So taking a deep breath in through the nose, filling up all the way through the belly, into the chest, pausing for a second at the top. Open the mouth, clear it out. Good, even bigger breath in. Let it go. Last full inhale. Big exhale. From here, close the lips. Start to breathe in and out through your nose. You can take a slight constriction to the back of your throat if you have an ujjayi breath as part of your practice. And that just is your ocean sounding breath. So you find that constriction, you make a little bit of noise. That helps to build heat in your body. So if you're in your house, you don't have any heaters nearby, ujjayi breath is a great way to build heat. It makes your own internal heat so that you can have some hot yoga on your mat without the, the yoga studio. So just finding that, that breath, cultivating, making it longer each time. Every breath in, pulling the navel to the spine. Every breath out. Last one. So if you can slowly bring the eyes open or find the gaze towards the ground. For a second, just lower the chin towards the chest, just stretching through the back of the neck. And then maybe find some movements, rocking the head back and forth, bringing one ear to the shoulder, and then the other. Maybe those movements turn into big circles. So going all the way out, a couple times in one direction, and then switching, going the other way. And then we'll meet back at center, chin into chest, and lift the head up. Arms soften down beside you. Inhale, sweep the hands up, lengthen high. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, reach up. 
Exhale, soften your neck. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right hand comes down toward the right hip. Come into your first little side body stretch. So bicep is alongside the ear on the left side. Making sure we're always reaching up first and then over, right? So we're not crunching too much into the side body. We're going to make sure that we're lifting up or lengthening before we find that stretch. It's going to help you stretch out just a little bit more. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, left hand comes down. Reach it over. Opening up through that side body. Lengthening out. Now you want to touch the fingertips to that side wall. Inhale, sweep it up high. Good. From here, we're going to exhale. We're going to start to cactus the arms. We're going to twist our body over towards that right leg. So it's like little cactus twists, right? So squeezing those shoulders together to open up the front side of the chest. Pulling the navel in, using the core and up to twist here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus, twist over toward the left. Hugging the shoulders in. Opening the chest, twisting through the core, pulling the ribs in towards each other. Inhale, open up towards the ceiling. Exhale, right hand's going to come down. Side body stretch, we're going to go right to movement. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, cactus left. Inhale, reach high. One more time. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, left. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, extend up. This time, exhale, hands come down to the knees. Inhale, open up the chest, lift the gaze. Pause right there for a moment for your seated cow. Roll the shoulders back. Open up the chest. Maybe lift the gaze towards the ceiling. And exhale, round the spine. Pull away from the knees. Tuck the chin in towards the chest. Navel hugs towards spine. Finding space between each vertebra here. Right to move it. Inhale, lift up, open. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Good. Come back to your neutral spine. Uncross the leg, then bring the feet down to the mat. So I'm going to turn to the side now so you can kind of see me here. So feet are down. We're just going to do a little bit of core. So reach the arms forward. Big breath in. On the breath out, slow the lower. So count of five. All the way down to the mat. So five, four, three. Two and one, come all the way down. Walk those heels in a little bit closer towards the glutes. We're gonna do a little heel tap. So you're gonna take the fingertips, you're gonna try to tap that right heel with the fingers. Then you're gonna try to tap that left heel with the fingers. Maybe you're lifting up the head, you're lifting up the shoulders, right? So continue that with breath, right? Back and forth. Little oblique workout here to begin. So keep tapping, we're here. Use your breath, tap and heel, tap and heel. You should start to burn here in your obliques. We're here for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, release. Ooh, all right, maybe that got that core fired up. From here, we're coming back up to our seat. So however you want to, you can rock and roll up back to your seat. Roll over the knees, come into your tabletop. Stable table, only here for a moment for transition. We've opened up our spine already, so pulling that navel in, nice long spine. Press away, strengthen the shoulders. Tuck your toes. Big breath in. Breath out, start to lift those hips high, downward facing dog. First down dog, so find lots of movement. Bend into one knee, then the other. Pedal it out. Shake the head, yes. Maybe that neck still, still feels a little bit tight. I know the back side of my legs feel a little bit tight here, so this movement feels really good. We're still early on in our day. You probably just woke up and got onto your mat, unless you're an early riser. All right, settle into stillness. Keep that generous bend in your knees here to find more space in your low back. Spread the fingers out nice and wide, pressing into the fingertips. Spread the shoulders out. Pull 
pulling the ribs in towards each other. Nice, strong core here in our downward facing dog. Keeping your breath. Inhale, bend the knees, look forward towards the top of the mat. Exhale, step the feet up, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Bending those knees generously. Hands drop up to elbows for ragdoll sway. Find movement. Nice stretch for our spine. Releasing the crown of the head towards the ground, making sure we're not engaging any muscles in the spine, all the way to the neck. Even in the face, unfurl the brows, release the jaw. Knee at center, hands up and all the way down. Keep that bend in your knees. Inhale, slowly rise up to sitting. And then feel like every little movement here, coming up to our mountain pose, rolling the shoulders back and together. Palms face forward. Squeeze the fingers towards the ground. So we're nice and active in our mountain pose. We're not feeling lazy. We're not. We're, we're still engaging our muscles. So lift the kneecaps up, engage the quads. Pull the belly in. We want to make sure that core is tight. Press the fingertips towards the ground. We actually want to touch the ground with the fingers. Inhale, lengthen the hands all the way up. Good. Exhale, hands from the heart center. Inhale, reach back up. Good, from here, we're going to take the right hand, we're going to grab the left wrist. Take a big breath in. And when the breath out, start to come over towards that right side, coming into a little side body stretch. Good. Making sure that you're lightly grabbing, so we're not pulling too hard here. Just trying to stretch out that side body. You can lift the gaze up towards the ceiling for a little bit more. Make sure that you're keeping that core nice and tight to protect the low back. You're lifting up before you come over. Inhale, come up to center, switching the grip. So left hand grabs the right wrist, big breath in. Breath out, come over to the left this time. Stretching out through the side. Slightly pressing the hips over towards the right as you reach a little bit further towards the left, lengthening. You should feel a nice stretch in your side body. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, cactus arms, twist over towards the right. So just like we did seated, but now we're standing, right? So maybe you get a little bit deeper into that twist. You're pulling from the core. Inhale, extend up. Exhale, cactus, twist over towards the left. Hugging those shoulders in. Lifting up through the crown of the head. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold forward. Soft bend the knees as you fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms into the ground. Step the feet back to your first high plank. Lower the knees. So I always like to do our supported plank for our first grab. That just helps us get used to our form here. Making sure the shoulders are right over the wrists. Squeeze the glutes and pull the navel in. So we want to be nice and tight everywhere here. Press away from the ground. Find strength in your shoulders. Breath in, shift slightly forward. Breath out, bend the elbows, hug them in. We're going to lower just halfway. So we're going to do some little push-ups here. Inhale, press away. Come back up to your modified plank. Exhale, lower half. Inhale, rise. This time, exhale, bend elbows, hug them in, and lower all the way down. Good. Untuck your toes. Point the toes to the back of the room as much as you can. Inhale, lift the chest up, baby cobra. Hands are nice and light. Squeeze the shoulders together. Gaze stays down. Imagine that you want to reach the crown of the head towards the front of the room. Full breath in. Breath out, lower. Inhale, lift up, lengthen. Maybe you lift the palms up for a little bit more. Squeeze the shoulders together. A little challenge here. Last full inhale. Exhale, soften. Do that one more time. Inhale, baby cobra, find your edge. Maybe lifting the palms, squeeze them together. Keep the gaze down. Root the tops of the feet into the ground. Inhale, exhale, lower. Good, from here, you can press up through your tabletop for a little bit more spice. Tuck the toes, fire up the thighs, press into the palms. Inhale, come up to your high plank. Woo. A lot of core work there, right? Lots of shoulders, lots of core. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift the hips back. 
And you can always come back to that modified chaturanga, just like I showed you, using the knee and finding your baby cobra. Or we'll take our full chaturanga here too. All right, inhale, bend the knees, lift forward. Exhale, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Moving faster, exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, lengthen, right hand grabs left wrist. Exhale, come over to the side. Inhale, come up, switch the grip. Exhale, arc over to the left. Inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, cactus twist right. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Plant the palms. Inhale, high plank. Pause for a moment. You can keep the knees lifted this time if you'd like to. For support, come down to the knees. Inhale, shift forward, come to the tippy toes. Exhale, bend the elbows, hug them in lower half or all the way, chaturanga. Inhale, open up the chest, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, lift the hips high, downward facing dog. Full breath in. Open mouth, let it go. Inhale, bend the knees, lift forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, melt down. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, spread your heart. Inhale, lift. Right hand, left wrist. Exhale, over. Inhale, center. Switch. Grab that right wrist. Exhale, find that stretch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, twist left. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga choice. So find your flow your way. You can step, you can hop back, you can use your knees lower halfway or all the way. Inhale, broaden your chest. Exhale, lift your hips. Deep breath in. Open out, bear it out. All right, moving on here. Inhale, right leg reaches high, three legs off. Flex the foot, try to roll the toes to point down. Inhale, lift the heel a little bit higher. Exhale, pull the knee in toward the chest, look forward, and try to step that foot lightly between the hands. Lower your back knee down. You can keep those toes tucked or untucked, so you choose here what feels best for you. Take a second, pull the hips in towards each other, for stability. Inhale, lengthen up low crescent. Settle into the hips. I love low crescent. It's a really great way to find that hip stretch here in the beginning. It also helps you find that stability before we come all the way up into our high crescent. So it's really similar. We're just using that back knee down in the ground. So pull the ribs in toward each other. Lift up, lengthen out of the hips. Maybe spiral the pinky fingers in slightly, engaging arms. Settle into the thigh. Keep your breath. Good, full breath in here. Good, with our breath out, we're going to take that right hand, we're going to bring it down to our hip. And we're going to start to reach over with the left fingertips. So find a little side body stretch here. If you have the mobility here, you can always place the hand down to the ground, or maybe even a block if you have a block. So just depending on where you're at, hand to the hip, if you don't have, if you're a little bit tighter, or hand to the ground if you have that mobility. Find what feels best for you. Making sure that you're pulling that right hip back, that left hip forward. You're lifting up before you come over. You're going to feel a little bit wobbly. It is a little bit of balance here. One more breath. Good. Inhale, come up to center. Exhale, frame the foot. Tuck the back toes. Lift the back knee up. Inhale, step the right foot back. Find your high plank. Exhale, take your flow. Inhale, cobra upward. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left leg reaches up, pause. Press the right heel down, stretch through the leg. 
Flex the left foot. Point the pinky toe towards the ground. Full breath in. Lift the heel a little bit higher. Breath out. Pull the knee in. Pause it for a moment. Round the spine. Look forward. And then step the foot between the hands. Lower the back knee down. Wiggle. Walk the left foot a little bit further forward. If you notice the knee coming in front of the ankle here. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale and lift. Low crescent. Pause it for a couple breaths just to find that stability. Pulling the left hip back, the right hip forward, and keep this leg coming to our side body stretch. Maybe coming just slightly in and out of the thigh just to stretch out the hips. One more breath. Good, full breath in here. With your breath out this time, the left hand comes down to the hip, reach over towards the side. You can stay here, or like I said, if you have no, that mobility, bring the hand down to the ground. This is going to be a really deep stretch. So it just depends on how stable you feel. You can always have a hand in a block if that feels good as well. If you have something to place your hand on. Reaching up, lengthening before you come over. Pulling that, that left hip back, keeping the hips nice and stable. Inhale, rise back up. Exhale, frame the foot. Tuck the right toes, lift the right knee. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Remember, you can always skip the chaturanga if it doesn't feel good to you. But we will be taking them out for our second half of this infusion. Full inhale. Open the mouth. Exhale. Then two more breaths here. Take them as you need to. Alright, moving on. Inhale, right leg reaches high, three legs up. Exhale, knee comes to chest, round the spine. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, step it forward. This time we're keeping that back knee lifted. So back leg is engaged. Pull that right hip back. Inhale, power up, high crescent. So we've been to here before, kind of, with our low crescent. Just a little bit different because that back knee is lifted. You're pressing the thigh towards the stem, but you can keep a slight bend in the knee if you need to for some support. Pull the navel in. Reach up towards the ceiling. Extend through the fingertips. Come a little bit deeper to that front thigh. Deep breath in here. Breath out. Right hand comes down to the hip. Reach over. This time, I know I can't reach the ground here, so probably not going to be reaching the ground. So keep that hand onto your hip. You're going to feel a little bit wobbly. Pull the right hip back. Find stability in your hips. It's going to help you feel better here. A little bit less wobbly. One more breath. Good. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, back heel comes down. Open up to your warrior two. Find your stance. Maybe you need to find a little bit shorter or longer stance here. And then settle into your front thigh. Press the knee open towards the pinky toe. Reach the arms open. Extend through your fingertips. Lengthen out. Come a little bit deeper into that front thigh. Challenge yourself, right? Good. Inhale, reach out. Extend. Exhale, right arm comes to right thigh. Left arm higher, bicep up alongside your ear. Reach up through the fingertips. So if you're reaching up here up high, I'm going to give you that challenge. Try to place the bicep up alongside the ear, finding that nice side body stretch. Imagine you want to reach the fingertips towards the front of your room. Pressing into the outer edge of that back foot. If you want to come a little bit deeper here, you're more than welcome to place the hand down to the block or the ground. Reaching out, find a little bit more length. Settle into the thigh. One more breath. Good, keep the bend. Inhale, reach the right hand back. Or first your warrior. Try to bend into that thigh as much as possible. Lengthen up and then come back. Back hand is light, we're not pressing down into the knee. Reach out a little bit more. You're gonna go for that breath to movement, all right? So we're gonna go through a little bit faster. Take a deep breath in. And with your breath out, we're gonna come back to that extended side angle. Good, we're gonna go through that. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, reach forward. I know your thigh is free, we're almost there. Inhale, reverse. This time, exhale, hands come down, frame the foot. Inhale, step the foot back. High plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, open up. Exhale, lift back. 
Inhale, left leg reaches up. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, step through. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, lift. Settle into that eye crescent. Soften through the back knee if you need to. Pull that left hip back. Squeeze the ribs in towards each other. Nice, strong core helps you feel more stable. Lift up, lengthen through the fingertips. Deep breath in. Breath out, left hand down to hip. Side body stretch. Keep the gaze on the ground if you're feeling super wobbly, right? Only lifting the gaze if you're feeling more stable here. So you can lift the toes up a little bit. Pull that left hip back. Squeeze the glutes. Find your stability. Come a little bit deeper into that side body. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, heel down. Open up for your tip. If you need to, you can always flush out for a second. And then come back into that warrior two. Extend. Spread the shoulders out nice and wide. Lift the toes up. Wiggle them a little bit. Press that knee open. Good. Yes. Nice and deep into that warrior two. Inhale. Reach out long. Exhale. Left arm, left thigh. Right arm high. Or bicep alongside here. Find our... our Stability, find our form first. If you need to build on, you can. If that finger, if the fingers are reaching high, try to find that bicep alongside the ear. So extend the arm forward. Using our obliques here. So if the arm is on the leg, lift away slightly. Make sure that you're using your core. Two more breaths. Last one. Knee is bent. Inhale, sweep the left hand back, reverse. If you need to, right, you want to flush out, come back in. Because we're going to be holding for a little bit. Extend, maybe find a half bind if you want to avoid pressing down into the knee. Finding our breath to movement, full breath in. Breath out, extend back forward. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, sweep it back. Exhale, sweep it forward. Good, we're moving on. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, waterfall down. Inhale, step back. Exhale, find your flow. Inhale, open. Exhale, down dog. Deep breath in. Clear it out. All right, so next we're coming to our breath to movement. I love breath to movement. It's kind of my favorite part of practice because you get to flow through. It kind of feels like a dance because you're using your breath, right? It is cardio, so we're going to go a little bit faster with our breath to movement, making sure you go at your own pace. I will do that extended side angle reverse warrior, a little back and forth a couple of times. If you need to find less of a bend into the thigh, please do so. All right, so here we go. Breath to movement. Coming back to our downward facing dog. Get ready, all right? Here we go. Inhale, right leg reaches high. Exhale, knee to chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, rise. Exhale, right hand to hip. Inhale, center. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, extend. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Couple times through that. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, sweep back. Exhale, sweep forward. Inhale, reverse. This time we flow. Exhale, hands down. Chaturanga. Meet and down dog. Inhale, left foot up. Exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale, sweep it high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, hand to hip. Inhale, center. Exhale, open up. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse. Making sure you're using your obliques here. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reach back. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, reverse that warrior. Exhale, plant the palms, chaturanga, knee and down dog. We're almost there. We're almost at the halfway point. We're going to do it one more time on each side. Then no more chaturangas, all right? Inhale, right foot up. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, three-leg dog. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high. 
Two more breaths. Maybe come a little bit deeper. Last one. All right, come back up. Shake it out. Whew. I know my left leg is screaming a little bit. <laughs> All right, this time we're going to keep our right foot forward. And we're going to have our hands right up. We're going to step that left foot back. We're going to place the heels down. We're going to open up to our warrior two. This is a different way of coming to that warrior two. We're going to start to extend through that front leg. Walk the back foot in. So we just want a tiny bit of a, of a shorter stance here. Lift up through the kneecaps to engage the quads, reaching through the fingertips. Start to press the hips back. Take a breath in to reach out through the fingertips. And a breath out the back side right palm comes to inner thigh. And left arm comes high. I want you all to start with the hand on the thigh and then try to come lower. This is going to be our easiest point, right? And if you feel comfortable, you can start to lower it down a little bit. But the moment you see that front, that, that back hip collapsing and that shoulder collapsing, reach back open, right? Lift it up a little bit. Option here, you can bring the bicep alongside here. If you want a little bit more to the obliques, you can take that bottom arm and you can reach it forward as well. So imagine that you're holding something between the hands. So option just one arm or both. Hold in here, lift the kneecaps up, keep those quads strong. Feel your obliques here. I'm feeling this a lot, right? Two more breaths. Last one. Good, come out. Hit back in, comes to hip. So if you have a block or a water bottle, right? Your water bottle can also be a prop here as well. We're going to place it in front of the foot. So let's take a second to place that block about a foot in front of the foot. Like I said, if you have a water bottle, go ahead and use that as well. Back hand and hip. Start to bend to that front knee. Slowly reach for the block or maybe the ground. Lift that back foot up. So we're coming to our balancing half moon. Flex those top, that top foot. It's going to help you feel more stable. Roll the hip open. Open up the full body. You can keep the hand on the hip. For a little bit more, reach up towards the ceiling. Gaze is at the ground unless you feel really stable to try to lift it up, challenge yourself. Opening up, you should feel this nice stretch here in your side body. Also feel this a little bit in the obliques. We're using our obliques to keep ourselves lifted. You can have a soft bend in the right knee for more support. We're almost there, two more. Last one. And start to bend to that front knee. Slow and controlled, step the foot back. Warrior two. Extend the foot. Both our toes, all over, all over. Those are 10, not two, right? So all of our toes are going to face towards the side of the room. Toes in, heels out. Inhale, open up the chest, reach the arms long. Exhale, hips back, chest forward. Come into that wide leg forward fold. Let go for a second. You can stay here. If you have another variation in your practice, like you have a, head, a headstand or an arm balance, you can always come into crow here if that feels good. Or like I said, your headstand maybe, or handstand if that's part of your practice. So you can stay in that stretch right here, you can enjoy this, or you can come into another variation. And I'm going to give you a good few breaths, so find what feels good for you. If you're in the wide leg forward fold, weight is into the toes and out of the heel, so shift it forward a little bit, right? Good. A couple more breaths right here. If you're in that inversion or arm balance, find your way back to your wide leg forward fold. Last breath. All right, meeting back in our wide leg forward fold. Hands underneath shoulders, lift up halfway. Walk the hands up to the hips. Core is nice and tight here. One long line. Inhale, lift up to standing. We're going to walk those feet in towards each other. So we're just coming into our mountain pose to space inside of the room. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. I'm going to face you guys so you can kind of see me a little bit better. So we're just going to... Start to bend the knees. We're going to step the feet back, coming to our tabletop. So a tabletop facing the side of the room. It's going to feel a little bit funky, right? All right, so from here, 
We're going to keep our left knee down. So left knee stays down. Right leg is going to reach out towards the side of the room. So left knee down, right leg out. Pressing through the outer edge of the foot here. Engaging all the way through the leg. Inhale, lift up, come to your gate pose. So try to make sure that the foot is kind of directly out from the knee. Good, reaching towards the ceiling. Full breath in. And the breath out, the right hand's gonna come down to the leg, come to a side body stretch. Good, so right arm comes to leg. Remember, we're not pressing down too hard here into the leg. Reaching up through the fingertips before we come over. Feeling that nice stretch through our side body. Full breath in, come up to center. And the breath out, the left hand is going to come down to the ground, coming to our side plank. So you can stay here with the knee down. If you want some challenge, you can lift the knee up, coming to your full side plank. So you choose knee down or knee up. Pressing away from the ground, strengthening the shoulder, lifting the hips up towards the ceiling. Maybe bicep comes alongside here, extending through the side body. All right, we're going to come into a little bit of oblique work here. It's going to be a little bit on your shoulders, so if you have shoulder problems, you can always come down to a forearm or as well. So big breath in, reach up. And the breath out, we're going to start to lower the hips down. We're going to reach the hands to the back, or towards that leg, right? Inhale, lift up, reach forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, come to center. Now this time we're going to come to our tabletop facing the front of the room. So hand comes down. I'm like, where are you guys? You're kind of facing this way. I'm throwing myself off. So how are we going to come to tabletop facing the front of the room? <laughs> so that's hard to face you guys when I got all thrown off as to where I was. All right, come to your tabletop. From our tabletop, we're going to tuck our toes, lift our hips down, down. Look forward and just step back up to the top of the mat. Remember so back where we started. We got there somehow, right? I might have mixed us up a little bit, but we got there. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, sit the hips low. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, step. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands to heart. Steeple mudra in your legs. Inhale, lift. Exhale, stretch the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, come up. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, we're working our balance here. This time, rooting through the right foot. Hands to heart center, left foot to ankle, to shin, or to inner thigh. So whichever feels better for you. Pressing into the leg. Finding that nice suction cup. Pulling the navel in, reaching up through the crown of the head, staying here. If you want to try that side body stretch, this time left arm comes to that left thigh. Reach the right hand up. And start to extend it over. You can keep the gaze at the ground for the most supports. For challenge to your balance, lift the gaze towards the ceiling. Every breath out, maybe go a little bit deeper into that side body stretch. But extend the arm a little bit further down the leg. You can keep a soft bend in the knee. Pulling the navel in. Two more. Last one. Good. Reach up to center. And then shake it out. Alright, hands on hips. This time the left foot stays forward. And the right foot steps back. Heel comes down. Open up warrior two. Extend through the leg. Walk that back foot at just one foot first. Inhale, press the hips back. Reach through the fingertips. Exhale, back side of the left palm, inner thigh, and right arm up. Trikonasana. Reaching out through the fingertips, feeling this in your obliques, right? Lifting the kneecaps up to engage the legs. You can stay here. Maybe it feels good. Try to come a little bit lower. Remember, if you're coming lower, we're not collapsing down. All right, option to add on. Take that top bicep alongside here. You can stay right here for a little bit more. Bottom bicep alongside here. You're holding something between the hands and you don't want it to drop. So find your own version. We're holding here. We're really working our side body. Those obliques. Two more. Keep your breath. Last one. Good. Come up to center. Back in the hips. From a ground up block or water bottle. Place it in front of the foot. 
bend into the knee, grab the block, back foot starts to lift. Coming to our balancing half moon. And we'll have one side that's a little bit more stable than the other. I'm definitely feeling a lot more stable on this side. I don't know about you guys. Might feel a little bit more wobbly on this side. Flex the top foot. Press away from the block slightly. So don't put all your weight into the block, right? We're still using our obliques to lift away. For a little bit more, reach the hand up towards the ceiling. Gaze at the ground for support. Keeping a soft bend in the knee if you need to. One more breath. Start to bend into the knee. Nice and controlled. Step the foot back, warrior two. Extend the legs, toes in, heels out. Inhale, open up. Exhale, fold forward. Hands down to the ground. If you want to, you can always play around with an inversion or an arm balance on this side as well. If you're staying in a wide leg forward fold, start to walk the hands forward. So it's going to look a little down dog, but with wide legs. So press the hands into the ground, press the chest down. Three more, wherever you are. Last breath. Good walk it in. Come up halfway, up onto the fingertips. This time we're going to reach the biceps alongside the ears. So nice little core workout here. With a breath in, we're going to slowly lift up the skin. Hands to heart, walk the feet in towards each other. Coming into your mouth. Inhale in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Walking those feet back, coming into your tabletop. Facing the other side of the room. So we use right leg out on the last one. So we're going to do left leg out on this one. So pressing that foot down, pressing into the outer edge of the foot. Good. From here, pulling that navel in. Rise up, come to your gate pose. Engaging this leg. Deep breath in, lengthen. Breath out, left hand comes down towards the leg. Reaching up and over. Find a nice stretch. Maybe your obliques are feeling a little bit sore, so we've done some oblique work, so stretch it out, we're waiting in the knee. Full breath in, reach up. Breath out, right hand comes down, coming to that side plank. Pressing into the hand, lifting up. Maybe you come into that full side plank if that feels good for you. So if you want a more challenge, lifting up. But it's a little bit harder, right? We're doing that dip. Maybe bicep comes alongside the ear. Here we are on our core, full breath in. Breath out, lower the hip down, reach the hand back. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, exhale, inhale, come up, exhale, hand comes down, I know we're facing the back of the mat, but just turn yourself around, <laughs> I got myself all, all mixed up there, coming back to our tabletop, we're going to, from here, let's see where we're at, alright, so now we're back at tabletop, we're just going to sit the hips back, and over, and come into our seat, and we're here, we made it, alright, from our comfortable seats, Extend the leg. We're going to take the, keep the right leg out. We're going to take the foot into the inner thigh. So left foot comes to the inner thigh. Right leg is out nice and long. Deep breath in. Reach the hands up. And a breath out. Reach forward and down. Coming into a little stretch here. Nice forward fold. The hands can land on the shin, the ankle, or the foot. Reaching through the crown of the head. Chin is just slightly away from the chest. So we want to be not rounding through the spine here. We want to have that nice long spine. Hands, there's no pressure having your hands on your foot. So if you can't quite reach, it's more than okay to have the hands on the shin or the ankle. You can always grab a scarf or a belt and use those to wrap around the foot. With breath in, start to come back up. We're going to take the right arm. We're going to either place it on the leg or you can place it to the inside edge of the leg. So I'm going to come this way so you guys can see a little bit better. All right, so either on the leg or the inside edge of the leg, we're going to start with the left hand on the hip. 
Start to roll the left shoulder back, open up the chest. Then from here, if you want a little bit more, inhale, reach up. Exhale, body foot alongside ear, find the side body stretch. Couple of breaths here, making sure that chest is nice and open. So we're not collapsing the shoulder down. We wiggle walking the right hand a little bit further forward with each breath. Last full breath. Good, rise up. Leg comes out long, shake it up. All right, switching sides. This time we're doing that left leg out, right foot comes to the inner thigh. If it's a little bit too much for the knee to have on the inner, top, inner thigh, I have some knee problems, I keep my foot a little bit further forward. Flex the toes, inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Hands land wherever they can reach. Remember, no pressure to try to grab the toes. So if you can't quite grab the toes, we're not overextending to try to get there. Nice long spine. Roll the shoulders back, chest open, chin slightly away from the chest. Should feel like a nice stretch through the low back. Inhale, lift up. This time, left arm comes to the leg or the inside of the leg. Right hand to the hip. Start to open up. So roll the shoulder back. Stay here. Or inhale, reach up. Exhale, bicep alongside here. Stretching out your right thigh. Try to pull the shoulder away from the ear. So notice that shoulder tends to come up towards the ear. Just pull it slightly down. Then pull the shoulder back. So shoulder blades hug together. Finding your happy baby if it feels good. You can grab the shins, the ankles, or the feet, pulling them down, rocking them back and forth. Finding some movement, making that feel good here. And then meeting back with the knees at center. So the knees at center, we're going to reach the arms out nice and long and lower both the knees over towards the right. Give these a little supine twist. If the knees don't quite reach the ground, it's okay if they hover. You can grab a blanket and place it between or under the knees or maybe a block or anything like that. Keeping that left shoulder rooted, maybe the gaze comes over the left shoulder. We're slowing everything down here, no more work. Slowing down the breath, the heart rate, and the mind. Come closer to that final breath. And the knees come back. 
back to center. Utilize the spine for a second, and then lower them over to the left. Supine twist, other side. Reaching through the right arm. More important for the shoulder to be down in the knees. For more of a twist, gaze comes over the shoulder. Try to release all your muscles. Even closing the eyes and keeping them closed until the end of your practice. arms long above you, full body stretch. Knees, hips of the chest, roll onto either side for a fetal position just for a moment, just reconnecting. And coming up to a comfortable seat when you're ready. Hands at heart, eyes closed, or gaze and soft down towards the ground. Releasing all the air from your lungs. Finding a full breath in. Clear it out. And then showing yourself gratitude for taking time out of your day to show up on your mat. For taking time for your practice. And most importantly, for taking time for yourself. Especially right now, it's sometimes hard to motivate yourself you should be proud that you got up, that you committed time to you and your practice. Show gratitude to all those in their own houses that might be practicing beside you. And I'm grateful that you all decided to join me in your practice, whether it's now or later on YouTube or Facebook. And from my heart to each and every one of yours, namaste.
thank you all for joining. As I said in the beginning, look out for our posts about how you can be clever with your prop usage. Um, we are doing a little like fun thing where if you would like to show how you're using props at home, you can post a picture of yourself using some unique things around your house as props and tag us in it. We'd love to see um, all of your fun ideas. If you've been enjoying our classes and you would like to donate to the studio, you can do so through Venmo or through MindBody. So you can find those links on our Facebook or our website if you would like to donate. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. From me and Shangri-La Hot Yoga, thank you. <laughs>